you're chasing me! Please don't kill me! Hi. Where am I? My goodness, you're finally awake. Well, you're safe and sound here at home. Look, once I find out who hurt you, I'll make sure that we find justice. What happened? And who are you? You don't remember me? No. I don't even remember my own name. You must be the amnesia. My name's Aubrey. I'm your fiance. Your name's Robin. A few days ago, you were assaulted. You've been in a coma ever since. I'm so sorry. I don't remember any of that. Hey, hey, it's okay. It's all right. I'm here to take care of you now. How come I'm not at the hospital? Well, you were taken to the hospital in an ambulance. That's where they called me. When I arrived, the doctors and I decided it would be best for you to come home. Oh. Thank you for protecting me. Oh, I love you too much to ever see you get hurt like that again. Could I have some water? I have the worst headache. Yeah, actually, let me take you to the living room. And that way, you and I can have a chance to get to know each other again. How did we meet? We worked at the same place. And we went on lunch breaks together, and gradually we fell more and more in love with each other. I'm so sad I don't remember any of that. What do you remember? Um, my birthday is February 20th. I remember the lyrics to Don't Stop Believing" by Journey. <laughs> I can picture my childhood home and my parents, too. I remember high school, college, and most of grad school, but anything as of recently that includes work or you is fussy. Well, it's a good thing you were able to hold on to those precious childhood memories. <laughs> I don't know whether or not we'll be able to regain those other memories, but in the meantime, let's try and make some new ones. I'd like that. Good morning, baby. Where are you going? Oh, hey, beautiful. I just have a few errands that I'm going to be running. Just a little grocery shopping and then maybe the bank. I'll go with you. No, no, it's best that you stay here. I don't want you to get hurt. Promise me you'll stay home today. Okay, I promise. All right, I'll be home tonight for dinner. I love you. I'm 
I know Aubrey told me to stay at the house, but for some reason it doesn't feel like home there. This park feels familiar, though. I must have come here a lot to clear my mind. Robin? Robin, is that you? How do you know my name? You're messing with me, right? It's me. Travis. That doesn't ring any bells. We used to date for four years. You left me. Well, then we must have broken up for good reason. You left me for another man. Stop. You're lying. I would never do that. You're probably stalking me. You're probably the one that assaulted me. Whoa, whoa. I would never do that. I, you don't have to yell, okay? I'm just concerned you were reported missing. I don't trust you. Robin. R Robin, wait! Hi. Can I speak to Detective Allen? I don't know what's going on anymore. How can I be missing if I'm at home with my fiancé? Why can't I remember anything as of recently? There are no engagement photos. Why don't I have engagement photos? Is Aubrey lying to me? Honey, I'm home. What's, uh, what's all this? What's going on? When did you propose to me? Uh, um, last month. Remember, I took you to the beach and everything. And when's our anniversary? July 1st. Yep, yep, that's the day. But seriously, Robin, what's what's going on? You hesitated for both of those questions, which tells me either A, you're a forgetful person, or B, you're making the answers up. My gut tells me it's B. Well, I think that this head injury has caused you to be a little paranoid and untrusting. <laughs> then let's go the logical route shall we? Why are there no pictures of us anywhere? Usually when a couple lives together, there are pictures on the walls. There are no photos, no prints, not even an Instagram post with the two of us in it. I'm just a camera shy person. That, that doesn't mean that I'm lying to you. Then tell me this. Why am I missing? Who told you that? A man at the park just came up to me. You said you weren't going to leave the house today. I don't think this even is my house. Oh, Robin. If only you'd have just listened. We're going to live happily together. But now you've just gone and ruined it. What? Stop! I'm never leaving this house ever again. What are you doing? Tell me what's going on right now. In case you haven't figured it out by now, I'm not your fiance. We worked at the same office. I fell in love with you at first sight. But you never even cared about me. Probably because you were with Travis. But when they fired me from work, I never stopped thinking about you. So I figured I could pay my own destiny. You forgot everything. You can live a new life. A beautiful life me. So, I never even went to the hospital? Well, see, now you're getting it. You're sick and twisted. You could have just done what a normal person would do and ask me out on a date or something. Would you have said yes? Maybe! It would have been better than whatever this is! It doesn't matter anymore. Right? We're here, together. Forever. I'd rather die. Watch your words, Robin. Who'd you call? No one! You're lying! Wait here. Don't make a sound. Can I help you? Where's Robin? There's no one else in this house. I don't have time for your lies. 
No, 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 don't go in there. There you are. My gut was right. Behind you. Oh, isn't this sweet? Come to save a little princess. Well, it's too bad you're too late. She doesn't love you anymore. Aubrey, don't shoot him, please. You're sick for this. You had your chance with her. It doesn't give you the right to kidnap her and make her forget everything. What the? Hands up, get down on your knees. How much do you want? Any amount, I'll pay it. You think this is about money? This is about safety. Despite my past relationship with Robin, I still genuinely care about her as a friend. Once I saw there was a missing persons report for her, I knew something was up. After I ran into her in the park, I immediately called the detective on her case. We'll take it from here. You're under arrest. You must be Travis. Yes, I am. I'm Detective Allen. Thank you for your call earlier. Just wanted to protect somebody I care about. Let's go. Sorry, I didn't trust you earlier. It's okay. You were kidnapped and lied to. But you're safe now. And I promise I'm telling the truth. It's been a few weeks since the incident, and now my memories are starting to come back. The cops arrested Aubrey, and now I don't have to worry about him anymore. I know what happened was terrible, but... There's a silver lining. Hey, wanna go on a walk? Aubrey gave me an opportunity for a new life. Of course. Cool. Just not the way he expected.